Sunny Bonani guys and welcome to another video. Now it is a sad day for Umamu Zanele Sifuba as I am making this video. But she's currently trending um, on Twitter because of what I'm about to read now. A young Nigerian man released a sex tape of Umamu Zanele Sifuba, the speaker of the ANC Free State Legislature, after she refused to pay 300 rand a 300,000 rand blackmail money to the Nigerian man who was sleeping with her. This, I I don't know what to say. So let's start here. Who is Umam Zanelisi Fub? Um, she is a South African politician and educator who has been a speaker of the Free State Provincial Legislature since May 2019. She was elected into the legislature in the same month. She is also a member of the ANC right so apparently i'll just give you guys the rundown apparently umam sifuba um had sexual relations with this man who um i'm guessing i'm not 100 percent sure of this but this is what i think happened um made um a sex video or made a video of them when they were during their intercourse and um released that video on twitter right now i don't even know what to say i i don't even know what to say but um o prince kb who if you remember i think last year um o prince kb had some pictures of his genitals that were released online by a woman he was having um i'm guessing he was also having sexual relations with her but um i guess they were having a disagreement on something and she decided to release those pictures now this coming from understanding that he's also had something like this happen to him this is what he had to say when I look at the Zanele Sifuba unfortunate incident, I remember being on the phone with my mom for over an hour after my mm was doing rounds. Had never heard her so disappointed. She cried throughout the call and I haven't been able to forgive myself. In all the trauma Umam Zanele is going to endure right now, her shame, guilt and disgust for disgust for herself will first be inspired by her kids close relatives and other members of her family because i am certain those are the people she's gonna have a tough time facing strength to her and her family this too shall pass now um i'll just you know read a few of the twitter comments that i saw and then i'll just let you guys know what i think about um this whole situation um so unamsha said when it was lulu cafe you're always so angry you got musa suspended now it's a woman uzanela's fool but you're coming with all types of excuses to justify the violation when i say y'all are disgusting hypocrites who have no backbone I mean it. Now, if you remember, um, a few months back, Ululu Cafe also had a picture of him where he was naked. He had no clothes on. And the person that he was with at that time took a picture of him. And they then proceeded to, I guess, give that to Umusa um, Kaula for him to post on Twitter. Now, um, Musa's um, Twitter account was suspended for that. And I think he's also still not back but um so this person was saying that because there was like a lot of mixed emotions with this a lot of people were you know feeling sorry for umam zanele and they were you know voicing how she was violated and they are against that but a lot of other people as well thought it was funny or whatever happened to her and so they had a lot of negative things to say so this person was saying that you guys were with lulu cafe when something like this happened to him and now you're doing this to um umam zanel i'll just read one of those um twitters Uslota said advocating for Zanelis Fuba is some nasty business for me. She went for an undocumented foreign national in the first place, trusted him with her privacy behind closed doors. She allowed being horny mess with her brains. She thought it was love from Nigerian. Now I d I don't know what this was supposed to mean or what um what purpose it was supposed to serve, but I guess that's how the person felt um someone else said the brand is growing omelusi kikaba was anc daisy um 
my cinema is ANC and Uzandere's full is also ANC. The common denominator is the ANC. This is what your leadership stand for and this is what they're busy with instead of delivering um, revolution to the people. So Umelu Sikigaba is also another person um, that had um, a cheating scandal as well as had a video of this sort released. Someone else on that Umelu Sikigaba issue said the double standards when it was Gigaba ish turned into a joke and it was all fun and games. Suddenly it's a woman and people say stuff like, have you no shame? Wow. Um, someone said, we apologize to the family of Uzanele Sifuba, but adults engage in intimacy with their partners and there is nothing distasteful with that. The only distasteful thing is sharing it on social media, knowing very well she has a family that is going to be traumatized. May she keep her job. Someone said, please stop sharing the video and pictures of Uzanele Sifuba. It's not nice. It's dehumanizing. And it's embarrassing. We cannot be having a laugh at the expense of someone's pain. Um, someone asked if she is she not married, and then they responded to that by saying they were still trying to investigate whether she is married or not. Strong Bao said everyone is f's around and finds out, but I'm proud of Uzanele Sifuba for not letting a stupid blackmailer get in her bag. Everyone has stuff they hope won't get exposed, but if you have to use money to keep your dignity, then you've already lost it. Umarena said Uma Z has, has been paying this guy. The guy just got greedy today and she refused to pay. There's nothing to be proud of here. Um, someone said the Zanere Sifuba video is definitely something that should have never landed on this app or anywhere else. Umama Umuntu arrest that Ben 10. Um, Umzulu Walimbopo said Zanele Sifuba's dignity was violated. It is unfortunate the video was received by a wrong person who saw a tool to use against her. Let us not tarnish her name. Most of you do send nudes to your partners. And you're fortunate that they don't share them on social media. Someone said, I am proud of Zanede for refusing to pay for the video not to be released. She would have lived in fear and paid for the rest of her life because the boy would have made demand every chance he got. Normalize um, daring people from the first attempt of blackmail. It will blow over. Elvis said, the video of Uzana Desifuba is a classical case of how far evil people can go to humiliate others for vibes and money. It is not a juvenile joke that went wrong, but it is gender-based violence of women abuse that must be frowned upon. We can do better than normalizing such despicable behavior. Someone else said, I stand with Zanele Sifuba. She did absolutely nothing wrong to be called names. We all age with gray hair on our bodies. It is her life, her body, her choice. Her sexual desire has sexual desire has no age. This guy did her dirty. She trusted him. We must fight for her and not judge her nor call names. Someone else said, I haven't seen a single picture of this guy that exposed Uzanele. Um, can his picture be exposed so ladies know not to date him? ever someone said i want to encourage adults to continue being intimate and have active sexual lives Zanere Sifuba, heal and continue living life to the fullest adults deserve to experience love and intimacy to the extreme if they feel so may this league open us up to accepting that adults are still human Someone said, what Zanele Sifuba is going through is extremely horrible. Someone you allowed yourself um, to be vulnerable with trying to extort you is barbaric. That Nigerian dude who shared a video of Zanele is a punk. As much as I'm against anything ANC, what's wrong is wrong. That is her privacy. That punk must be arrested for doing such. Someone else said, um, revenge porn is punishable by law. I hope speaker Zanele sues and gets her justice. There's absolutely nothing wrong with intimacy. In like is men weaponizing sex when women don't comply. And I actually saw someone share this. Anyone found guilty of sharing revenge porn will now, will now get jail time of up to four years in prison or a fine of between 150,000 and 300,000 rand, depending on whether the victim is identifiable in the sexual images or videos 
there's also something else that um includes it says this um there are new revenge porn laws in south africa as the country officially follows the likes of israel the uk new zealand and japan by criminalizing the distribution of sexually explicit images or videos without someone's consent and then the highlighted part says victims may now lay criminal charges against anyone who distributes or shares this material on social media in text messages via any electronic communication or on pornographic websites um okay i'll just read um this last comment and then share my views i stand with Susanna Lissifu, but ma i'm sorry that your rights were violated like this i'm sorry that we find humor in your pain in this instance you did nothing wrong may god give you strength and justice okay so here's my thing whether she was cheating or not whether the person has a husband or not, whether she's married or not, what some what what is wrong is wrong. I like what that person said. They said what is wrong is wrong, and a violation of someone's privacy, it's wrong. However you think of it, like it's literally, that is invasion of your privacy, and someone is stripping away your rights, right? Mm -hmm. But um, honestly, it's a shame that there's people that find humor and stuff like this. Um, I have not watched the video and I'm not planning on watching it because I do not want to be part of the problem. The reason the video went viral in the first place was that people were watching it. People were sharing it for other people to see. And if you look at the substance of what is happening here, someone's privacy was violated. Someone's rights were violated. Um, someone's mother her pictures and her video was shared for everyone else to see. I cannot imagine how she must be feeling. I cannot imagine how it must feel to find yourself in such a, a situation. But um, yeah, I'll just say I hope she's able to see this through. I hope that she heals from it and she goes um, that she's able to, you know, I, I hope that her and her family are able to get through this. Um, I hope the guy that did this actually gets jail time or faces some justice for doing this but honestly i find no humor in something like this and um i don't think anybody else should be finding humor to this it's it's it literally it is just it's just so bad um but yeah guys share what you think in the comment section i also one of those people that um have something negative to say or do you stand with her um but yeah let's see what you guys have today in the comment section but that is it for this video until next time